Welcome back to Battalion Nemesis. Here we're going to do the bonus mission, so let's get started. Uh, as you can see, there's no intro. Uh, we also have a battlefield that's fairly evened out right now. And that's pretty much the entirety of this. So with that, let's mobilize our troops so that they can get really close to that war factory as soon as possible. And reclaim everything within the next two or three rounds. That's probably a fairly good goal. I'm not sure where they're going to send their tanks first, so I may want to put one up top. This is a, just a general area where my commandos are, and I'll move one down center for now. Alongside this, you'll notice we actually have turrets. That's to say they can't move and they shoot things. That's all there is to it. And from here, we also have a small anti- oh, a small sea-based naval vessel. And I, what I want to do is leave my U-boat somewhere hidden in order to do some ambush attacks. And I'll leave my hunter a little bit further back in case we bump into U-boats or something. Next thing I want to do is... Save my money actually. I do plan on creating a bomber in the future so... I'm not too sure what I want to make now. It might be a flat cannon to prevent all our commanders from getting wiped out by the enemy. So for now let's save our money actually. And see what they do. So for the most part their first turn will probably be for advancement as well considering they need to claim that war factory. And we'll probably bump into each other on round 3 or round 4. And it looks like they're going to be moving their tanks more towards the south. Alright, so they have two Corvette fighters, two U-boats, and an Intrepid. The rest of our troops. And that's the case. They have already produced a Raptor, so they are definitely trying to target my little friend here. It's time to produce a Raptor of our own, considering we can't cover up a specific area. Their turret seems to be covering up all of that space, so... I'll have to send people to advance from that area. And I'll put one down here in order to help defend this uh, lower turret if they do come and attack it. And from this on, let's move a little bit more. We can actually attack this. But that, uh, that Corvette fighter is probably going to attack us, so I'm going to have my U-boat ready if that happens. And we'll be able to launch a counter-attack fairly quickly in order to kill them. And with that, we're going to start claiming a war factory. So it seems their Raptor is probably going to come in here and try to do some annoying damage whenever possible. It looks like they're shipping their Intrepid away immediately in order to go claim that island. And it looks like their tanks are also going to start occupying the lower area. Alright, well my U-boat is no longer hidden. That's certainly the case now. So let's try to blow out these... U-boats. We're in a little bit of a pickle here with nothing very useful against the ships. Uh, Let's move in here and destroy this raptor then. So of that we do have two turrets so we can send volleys around if we need to. Just like against that scorpion tank right there. Have you start capturing this area? And I'll send you down here to do some damage. Since the tanks are down there, I'm going to root you down here as well. I'm not too interested in attacking that guy since we have to deal with turrets still. Not a long way. Let's our trip back out. And I want to produce a... Who I want to make for this. Let's 
go with a raptor so we can cover actually no let's go with a u-boat i think our sea is still fairly weak and with the enemy raptor destroyed they're going to take a turn to come back here and that might give me an opportunity to uh, capture that war factory I'm probably going to switch targets in a bit. I have an idea for that. Not too concerned too much about their sea base fighting. And it looks like one of their tanks are going to move up as well. I'm pretty sure I built another raptor. We're going to have to find out about that in a second. But we got our war factory, so that's very good for us. We're going to have European tank be attacked. And if I can, oh no, that is completely their airspace. Let's not deal with that for now. Let's get my U-boat to turn invisible whenever possible. And I produced another U-boat, not a Raptors. That's fine. And my goal here is now to... How can I get rid of this guy that's hanging around me right now? I could actually destroy the scorpion right now. I think I might want to do that. I already have two tanks, so it's okay. Oh, it's not destroyed yet. Even, even worse, actually. Alright, well, let's send him in here to do some damage against one of the Kufret fighters on the enemy team. Since that raptor is probably going to get destroyed anytime soon. Are we intrepid claim something? So. Of on top here. I have another like intrepid on intrepid fight or something. We have enough money to start producing things as well. But I don't really want to make any more commandos. They move a little bit too slow for me. What I want is uh, to stick a raptor right between those two turrets whenever I can. And it looks like they're going to unbox their Intrepid, so that's something we need to worry about. As well as the fact that they have multiple Raptors on the field now. And it looks like they're going to move all position for the sake of killing us. That's okay. What I'm going to do is have this U-boat destroy the Intrepid so we can start claiming this if we want to. That's... Yes, let's destroy that Intrepid. And this guy is in our airspace, so we're going to blow him out of the water. This guy is not, but I'm going to destroy the Scorpion tank anyways. And I'll start repairing my own. Then, since we have an invisible U-boat, we'll do devil damage. And send my other Corvette fighter to finish him off. The other Corvette fighter is repairing, which is just fine, really. And I'll mobilize most of my troops up forward. And I'll get ready to start capturing something else. Now, I have $386. What do I want to make with it? It seems like they have commandos guarding their area. I'm going to have to have these guys start moving or something first. My plan is that I want to send you back into the forest and produce a flak tank black tank would be really beneficial right now but i need something that can shoot down uh something that can shoot down air units very quickly and these guys seem to be armored lightly so effective at deflecting heavy attacks but susceptible to light attacks so it looks like we can't really do too much except with a flak tank. Flak tank seems like they're pretty much the only effective thing against them. Um, we might want to work towards buying another hunter or a corvette fighter in the future. Like they're going to ship their corvette fighter to attack us. I'm going to lose my scorpion which was expected. They're going to f do a frontal attack against my raptors so they definitely want to produce more raptors or something. 
And it looks like they're shipping all their commandos around here for a gunfight. So we definitely need to produce another flak tank or something. I'm hoping I have a raptor around this turn. And what I need to do with it is... To be a little bit weird. Okay, so what is enemy airspace right now? That hill is pretty much our only good shot at them. So let's move that there. I'm going to need you to move into the forest and attack this guy. And so I can reposition myself to go to Raptor while producing another flag tank. That's still up to time, I'm gonna repair you. Can't get out of that ground area, so I can move you right here just to do some aggressive attacks if we do. Position you up here. This my Corvette fighter is free right now, I'm going to repair him. And I'm going to group my U-boats back up together. Just so they don't bump into each other too much. Um, I might attack that Corvette fighter right now, actually. I think that would be very good, so let's do that. And my turret is going to be able to shoot down one of their commandos. My other turret on the other hand can't do anything just yet, they're not taking the lower ground. And I can't take the lower ground either, yet either, so... If I can, I need to ship my raptor into those turrets immediately and do some damage. And we're going to move this heavy commando up. Alright, it looks like they're going to ship their uh, commando troops everywhere they can. We still have two flak tanks though, so I don't really have to worry about that too much. And it looks like they're producing another scorpion. And let's move here and do some damage. Neither of them should be able to hit me. And I need then you back here to do some damage right now. If I attack the scorpion, it means I need to kill it, so let's fire a turret at it first. Have health. We're highly effective on these. No, we're not gonna even kill it. That's fine. We have two flak tanks on the field. They have... Commando troops, to say the least. Since I have the opportunity, I might be able to produce another raptor for the future. So that might be the goal instead. These guys pretty much cover up this entire area so I can't do anything about it. Um, I might send my tank back up when I can. Let's do that. Now then, what is next? First, let's use my gunboat, I mean my U-boat to destroy this Corvette fighter. We've pretty much claimed the seas except for like one or two ships, so let's make it intrepid for that. Send you up as well, and send my Corvette fighter up as well. And if we can, we'll be able to claim this war factory, and what I want to do is produce airplanes with that. Out of that, this is probably going to be more of a stalemate, so let's hide in the forest right now. Just so you have some extra cover. I think they're gonna move their flak tank back to attack me, probably destroying my flak tank. Not too big of a deal so far, really. Reviewed my u bolt and it's probably not a smart move to actually send these on the side. And it looks like they're arming up by creating more tanks. My flak tank is pretty damaged up, so... I'm going to attack the scorpion my unit back and replace that unit with another scorpion for the blitz and I want to talk my corvette fighter where I can yes this would be a good place to annoy them with and since we have intrepid now we gotta get this thing moving in order to grab those war factory and money you're actually a little bit useless here so I'm gonna call an albatross and start flying you over to claim the oils on that land. 
and this U-boat is going to hover around here. And I want them close so that they both can attack a U-boat at once if they so produce another one. Let's send my other flak tank back up. And I am going to produce a... I'm going to produce a raptor. And the goal is not to put it up top here, but actually down here where they can't really arm it up. This will be my go-to in order to destroy those turrets. And it seems like it's going to be an advantage to me. If I'm able to get my raptor out as soon as possible. That might take a while though. I'm going to probably have to ship a flak tank in to do some damage. But not the smartest move, but I can't do too much about that. It looks like they're producing more tanks for that stuff. Ooh, and that would kill me too. How far does their airspace go up to? Up to my air control. <laughs> okay, well, that's actually really beneficial. I'll fly my way in there in a second. Let's repair this guy. Simply because we can right now. Launch a volley on this. Can't attack anyone with that though. That's a little bit unfortunate. And I'm going to destroy a strike amount while I still can. I'm going to send my commander to hit the scorpion tank since it can't really do too much outside of that. Albatross flies over. Go in here. We have the sea advantage from now on, but this guy is going to produce quite a bit in order to uh, cover up our land. So we might actually have to straight up buy an annihilator very soon. My commando down there is still waiting on those two turrets to be destroyed. Something has to come of this. Oh, okay. Well, that's a uh, that's an excellent move, actually. Thank you. <laughs> Not sure what you're doing with that, but okay. I might send my, uh... I might send my, uh... What do you call this damn thing? Corvette fighter back. If I need to. Let's attack this guy. Let's get easy for a second and destroy... That guy that's standing on top. Can't really attack them from there, and now it's time to do some damage to these turrets. Alright. And I'm going to send you in here to simply destroy this. Alright, let's grab this war factory. Unpackage my heavy commando so they can start claiming these oil fields. Looks like they're going to be producing some raptors, so we need to start repositioning our uh, flak tanks as soon as possible. Repair this one. And we are very close to getting that annihilator that we want, and we will be buying that thing very soon. We have a Corvette fighter to do some damage, return damage to the other black tank. Or it's going to start getting chewed up as well. That's a little bit worrisome. And they're going to be producing another Raptor it seems. The problem is that I don't have any anti-air up there, so... If they want, they could actually attack me immediately. That is a little bit threatening. We need to do damage to that while we still can. My Corvette's pretty much destroyed, let's be fair. And I have enough money for my Annihilator tank, so that's good. Alongside that. I'm going to have to reposition you for the future. So let us repair you. Let's send you backwards actually. They're probably gonna go and attempt to attack my annihilator tank immediately to get some damage off. And I will let them do that if they wish. However, my annoyance is that these airplanes are going to come in here as soon as possible. So I'm sending my U-boat there actually to block some of the damage. Very unlikely they're going to fly off into the side to shoot me, although that still might be the case. The AI may actually straight up be given our move patterns. Find out. 
They're going to move right on behind, it seems. Alright, we're gonna need to build some anti-air very soon. We're not doing too good. They have raptors everywhere. And because of this, we can't reclaim our war factory, so we won't be able to do too much with that. Um, let's use our turret whenever we can, so... Again, go in here and just do damage to this raptor. That's fine. I'll send you in for repairs, and... You will continue shooting. You're doing just fine, this raptor. You can't do anything about that, it seems. I will mobilize this tank in here to destroy the scorpion. And with that, I have a little bit of pocket money, and what I want to buy would probably be something that can send a volley. Something anti air. More raptors! <laughs> Alright, let's end our turn. Oh, looks like they're gonna send their raptor back in for it as well. Alright, so they're getting desperate. They definitely don't want those turrets destroyed. So what I'm going to do is actually have a gunfight right here. I already have a raptor produced, so I'm going to use it to attack the raptor up here, actually. I'm going to reposition you so you're ready for that counter-offensive. Have you destroy that flak tank. Because of this, I'm going to need another raptor. Just so I'm going to be able to uh, reclaim that turret positioning whenever possible. While they're still attempting to repair. I can't do anything right here, so if I can, I'm going to send an albatross back out. And I am going to send you into the center of the ocean. For now. They haven't produced anything for their forces yet, it seems. And my U-boats can't do anything around here, really. So let's start moving my U-boats around here. My goal is that if I can, I'd like to trap their war factory or start sitting on it. If I sit on their war factory, they can't do anything about it. And they're probably going to have to send a flak tank or something beyond back in order to take care of that. Both turrets are outside aerospace, so I can't do anything about that. And this guy's sitting here doing nothing, so I'm going to repair him so that if he has enough health, he can go capture things in two turns. And in fact, they are going to go after my Annihilator tank. Well, I did produce another Raptor, so that is what I expected to happen. I don't expect the fact that they're going to send flak tanks at me in order to do as much damage as they can. That's a little bit odd. But let's just destroy it then. send my other raptor to what are they doing here what can I target oh I'm not interested in targeting that let's send you in to do as much damage as you can and where I want to fly you is right back up here because I'm going to be able to capture it very soon I'd rather go for the oil fields right now I mean, we can't do too much else and I'm going to focus on creating more raptors in order to gun them down. It's, it seems like they're going to start taking an anti-air approach when they can. The fact that they have a, a flak tank hanging around there. The AI has a tendency of making a lot of flak tanks when they really need them. They're also very set on attacking my bloody annihilator tank, which I don't appreciate. All right, they don't have enough money. We're sitting on it. And in case if we don't have enough, we have another U-boat to sit on that as well. All right, bad move by them. Let's unpack this heavy commando. Oh, I can capture the war factory straight up. But I want it though, because I don't have enough money. I'm actually going to keep the fucking oil refiner. You can have that war factory if you want. Some more damage on you. And you. If I really want to maximize my efficiency, I can actually go and produce another raptor to fit in there. Although it'll probably get destroyed very frequently. 
Depends on what I want to do. I don't want to loot my raptors in this. Then I want to build a field of them. Alright, well, you know what? I think my annihilator tank has done a good job. I'm going to just send it back. I'm going to go do a little bit of damage on that albatross there. They're probably going to counter attack very soon, so I'm going to send another raptor out for production. I'm going to repair you while I still can to do a little bit more damage in the future. And we're still working on those turrets, so that's fine. Outside of that, no money, so let's see what we do next in our turn. They're going to start gunning us down immediately. And it looks like we're going to have a nice wild gun chase here again. Alright, well, what can I attack right here? I need to destroy that raptor. But I need that positioning, so... Let's set you up for positioning. I have multiple raptors here, which I can actually use it to bomb in if I wanted to right now. And I'm actually going to do that, so... And I'm actually going to go for something very sneaky right here. If I'm able to pull it off, we might be able to win fairly easily without any worry. How badly do I want to dedicate to this tactic? Here. It's brilliant. I'm going in for it. <laughs> If you haven't seen it yet, you're going to realize it very soon. Break you open for positioning. Wait for it. They're gonna ship an albatross on top of my shit. Okay, well. Not what I had in mind, but that's fine, actually. What I'm going to do is produce a... Raptor in order to intercept that later. And Raptors. And you are going to capture that War Factory. You can take my current one if you really want. Have the arrows. Alright, well, let's push on you and destroy this flak tank when we can. could send you in here to help do some damage and I think I'm going to do that and from here on we can end our turn yes not too much else to do yet so we're gonna wait on that all right they have ten thousand dollars that's quite a they're trying to cut down my supply aren't they Alright, well, let's hit the scorpion tank, I guess. No other reason not to. And now, we're gonna fly our raptors in to do damage. And with that, I capture their second war factory. And my goal now is to make sure I'm able to sit on that thing for as long as I bloody can. So let's prepare our our uh, raptors to take on the site. Still have enough money, so I'm going to produce a raptor in order to intercept this heavy commando that's clearly trying to take over my site. And there they are, trying to shoot, but they can't produce any troops. Haha, <laughs> yes! You what, mate? Okay, well, you know, let's get to it then. Swarm you in here and destroy this turret right now. And since we can, I'm going to gun you down immediately and position you for safety. And then I want this. I'm going to advance my troop. If they choose to attack it, it's absolutely fine. But I'm going for command center now. Oh, this is brilliant. I've done it. This patient, patient commando waiting for his turn. He's not even actually going to get it, actually. The albatross is probably going to get destroyed. <laughs> and with that, we win. That's a nice ending.
Wow. I sat on their enemy's base with my big fat ass. Who says a fat ass can't win a war?